Hi guys, my name is Kai and today we are going to find out how to cut and polish some Choroid Matrix Boulder Opals. This video is also about some good ideas and some bad ideas. So let's get into it, enjoy the video! So these are the shiny pieces we are grinding today. Let's start with this big boy. As you can see, the stone is dry, but you can already see this electric blue color all around the stone. The second one is a bit smaller, but it has also this magnificent color inside. And this is just a small piece, but it has an important special order for this video. We will experiment on this small stone and doing the one side with nova points and the other side with diamond paste. So hopefully we find out how to treat the big brothers best. So let's go! If you saw my latest video, you may wonder why I muted the live sounds. First of all, it is annoying. Second reason is that I don't want to bore you and therefore I speed up some parts and that would sound like my girlfriend would have a big fight with me when I misuse our stuff at home like the one time I stole a wire from this laundry hang up thing to build a camera holding construction. That works very well, by the way. Anyway, back to opal business. What I learned from this tiny opal is that it's quite brittle. So I have to be careful with the other stones. So what I really like on the Opal community is that nearly everybody is sharing their knowledge and experience. So I tried this at home and I would definitely not recommend you to do this at home. Just to save time I will use the side of my Dremel trim saw to grind off some of the bigger edges. So concentration, you can do it, it's just a trim saw on a cheap high rotation Dremel tool and you never tried this out before, what can go wrong? Ok, maybe I need some extra protection, I think Beska should be protection enough. Ok, first impression. It works very well, it's still dangerous, I'm not kidding, watch your fingers guys. And the grinding noise is so terrible. Oh boy! Look at these clean edges! Grind a bit here, grind a bit there... So far a good idea, until this happened. So what happened in slow-mo? I released the finger. I put it back on a stone. I pushed the stone against the trim saw. And it's gone. Was it a bad idea? Yes. Is everybody alright? Yes. Will I repeat that silly idea? Probably yes. 
To save the opal and my life, let's get back to the normal grinding way. Having both hands on the opal just gives me better control and it just feels right for me. So let's get to the big boy, let's see what is hiding inside. When I worked on this piece, I recognized this crack. Yeah, so this stone also seems quite brittle. Yeah, it's just opals, you never know what you get. Anyway, let's get on a wheel and see what happens. Let's see if I'm right. I slightly go around the crack. And yeah. It's broken. And you know what else broke this day? My beautiful headlamp. I even don't know how this happened. But I fixed it in a very professional way. Yeah, you can fix broken things, but you can't fix a broken heart. So back to the opal. It wasn't that bad, because the one part keeps all the beautiful color inside and the other part is quite colorless and useless. So having my emotions 90% under control, I continued with the smaller but also beautiful stone to get the best result out of it. Let's have a look on the stones before we give them the final shape. So we have this broken stone. We have this small stone for our experiment on diamond paste or diamond specific nova points. And this stone, which obviously wants to be a teardrop shape. Perhaps as a sign of everything that went wrong... that went wrong in this video, oh boy. What I love in opals when you put them into the water, they look amazing, they look stunning, they look so shiny. And then you let them dry out and have a look at it and it just looks like a complete different stone. It looks like a messy piece of sh piece of heaven, still opal but not shiny as before. And also the second stone looks like. Come on, get the focus on it. it looks also messy, and it had little cracks on the surface. Anyway, let's get in the kitchen to dubstick them. Oh yeah, if you have a gas oven, you can dubstick here. But if you want to take a good video of your dubstick process without getting disturbed... Rebecca! What's in? Ja, das Video. Ja, you should... That was a glass. You should just buy a torch or something else. To be honest, I am a dubstick idiot. But it's getting better and better. I thought about making a video about dubsticking, but that would be too embarrassing. Maybe more embarrassing than standing in front of a gas oven with a toothpick in your hand and a Rick and Morty jogging pants on. So what I'm going to do on this small stone, I'm using my Diamond Pacific Nova Points 
from 280 to 600 to 1200 grit and then polishing with serial marks it. And for the other side I'm trying out my diamond paste for the very very first time. The grids here are from 10 to 0.5 and I have really no idea how to use them and how long to work with them, but let's find out. As you can see, I use a felt thing for... Ugh, what that? For every single diamond paste. I'm sure some of you guys already are thinking what the hell is he doing? And you know what? <laughs> I have really no idea if this works. I just saw it on the YouTube video I think, but that looked more professional. So here you can see the result of the Diamond Pacific Nova points. Looks pretty good and I'm quite happy with it. And on the other side you can see my high grade diamond paste felt wheel polishing or whatever. The reason why it looks so ugly is that the felt is too soft and it rubs down the iron stone more than the opal. But after some research I found a great solution in the internet that I have to show you guys. But first let's finish one stone with a diamond pacific nova points before we go to the second try on diamond paste. Don't worry, I will not show the full process because I don't want to bore you and my camera setup isn't the best. But here are some really useful tips for the Dremel boys and girls out there that may provide you from making mistakes. Here I show you what happened to my stone. I worked on it gently and carefully, but in the end the surface was really uneven. So the minimum speed of my Dremel is 10,000 RPM and I never work on higher speed. My experience with Boulder Opals so far is that it's hard to handle this speed. Hmm, what would Yoda say? Reduce the speed you must. Use one of your Star Wars Plus. Let's see if Yoda's right. I wrapped it around the shaft of my Nova points and I'm trying to use force of the tweezers. Oh yeah! And it works very well! But I'm sure it's not good for your Dremel. And this plas would only last for one or two stones, so thanks for nothing, Yoda. Oh, cat hair everywhere! What else you can do is to push against your Nova point with your finger. It won't hurt you. But do this only with your Nova points, not with other things like the trim saw or something that will hurt you bad. So these are my brilliant ideas with a cheap Dremel tool. I only know one better idea, buying a flex shaft or a better Dremel. Anyway, this is the result with lower speed. The surface is nice and even. And I really love the electric blue colors. So I was very proud with the result and I put it in a Facebook group to value it. Just to get punched right in my face. 40 bucks at the flea markets? Oh come on, and the flea markets are closed because of Covid. So we're not making money, but we're making experience. For the next experiment we need to build something. We need this tiny thing, we need balsa wood, we need emery paper and then our Dremel tool. To create our own Dremel attachment to use our diamond paste. So let's go! 
We're taking off a piece of wood, or better too. We are drilling a hole inside the wood, just in the middle. Oh yeah, that looks good. We use our fingers to get this piece into the wood. You should not use any machines, because probably the wood will break. I know at least one person who did this wrong. Then we are using our emery paper to give it a nice bullet shape like we know from our Nova points. Man, that looks great! Now this is a really useful idea. Sadly it's not my own. Let's find out how good this works. I also worked on a better camera setup. So let me explain first what I am doing here. I pre-shaped the stone with Nova points, with a lower speed, and I'm using the diamond paste from grid 10 to 0.5. No idea how much paste I have to use and how long I have to use each paste. So this is what this channel is actually about. Learning by doing. And of course learning from each other. So if you have any ideas, any suggestions, or if there is the best way to polish boulder opals, please share in the comments below. Everything worked very well so far. Until this happened. Oh, nine. oh boy, looks like Papa Smurf just shit on my Dremel tool. What I realized after I made this huge mess I don't like using diamond paste. For me it is really not fun. Anyway guys, somehow it is working. It is just annoying. I am using 10 different grids of diamond paste. That means I have to grab every single paste, open it, smear it on, close it, polish and then clean it up. I'm sure there must be a better and more comfortable way to use diamond paste. The only thing that makes me happy so far is that balsa tool that worked very well. Looks like a rainbow, but an ugly one. Okay, I've complained enough, been annoyed enough, suffered enough. But the main question, did it pay off? First of all, we have two beautiful stones. I cannot deny that the polishing with diamond paste looks way better. Although I have done many stupid things. Now I could give the other stone also this shiny surface. But I don't want... Do you have a kitty catty conclusion for diamond paste? Obviously the cat doesn't give a shit. And any opinion on the Nova points? 
well, he's okay with it, but enthusiasm looks different. Please don't judge me too hard for being an idiot at some parts of this video. I had much fun and I hope you guys liked this video too. If you felt entertained, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'm really looking forward to all of your comments. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.